Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So by now, most of you will know that Microsoft last week rolled out their latest feature update for Windows 11 version 22H2. And the update was KB5026446. And um, if you had your um, get the latest updates as soon as they were available, if you had this toggled on, uh, you would also get the configuration update which brought the third wave of new features to Windows 11 version 22H2, known as the Moment 3 update. Now, um, this configuration update, according to Microsoft, has brought some performance increases and has boosted the performance, according to Microsoft, of Windows 11. If you have installed the Moment 3 update that did arrive last week, and uh, um, I have touched on some of these performance boosts in previous videos, but what I thought we could do today, just to kind of put it into the title of performance and what Moment 3 brought performance-wise to Windows 11 22H2, just to collate everything into one video. And you may have heard me talk about one or two of these um, these um, new features that boost the performance before, and I'll leave all previous videos down below if that would be of interest. Now, first of all... Um, According to Microsoft, if you have installed the Moment uh, 3 update that was made available with the Windows configuration update package, um, searching in your settings um, should be quicker. So the update improves the performance of search within settings. So as an example, if you're just going to do a search for system, Microsoft says that that performance should be a lot quicker when it comes to searching within settings, which I actually think has been a long time coming. I have noticed in the past that the search within uh, settings has been um, a little bit slow and laggy, and I have actually seen a bit of an increase personally since installing the Moment 3 update. Now, the next is regarding mainly a feature that would affect gamers. The update improves your computer's performance when you use a mouse that has high report rate for gaming. Now, um, I've touched on this briefly, but I'm going to go a little bit more deeper um, into this um, reduced game stutter with high report rate mass, according to Microsoft, where they have fixed issues throughout Windows so that an untimely frame freeze won't take you, if you are gaming, out of your immersive experiences. Now, um, if we just head over to one or two screenshots provided by Microsoft. And this will give us an indication as the before, and then we'll move to the after scenario and the after image. Now, Microsoft says, while we do take a look at this before image, um, before um, Microsoft rolled out um, uh, the Moment 3 feature update, this is what the gaming experience was like um, when it came to high report rate mass. Microsoft says gamers... Um, and I'm quoting this, also use sensitive high DPR, high report rate mask to shave milliseconds off their response times and increase precision. At the same time, the world of gaming is more connected than ever with gamers relying on an increasing number of background apps while playing like voice chat, streaming apps for configuring your keyboard, mouse or graphics card and more. The Windows input stack um, was being pushed to its limits with high report rate mass and the input being delivered to not just the game but also multiple background processes. In turn, Microsoft carries on to say that caused a significant amount of time processing input rather than providing as many cycles as possible for rendering the game experience. So this is what that is all about and just a brief image from Microsoft as to um, how that performance was before they rolled out the Moment 3 update. And this next image um, basically is the after. So what they say regarding this is they have set out to reduce the amount of processing time it took to handle input requests. And after improvements on the same setup, um, Microsoft says they now deliver a smooth, uninterrupted gaming experience and preserve the low latency, high precision input experience in games while being efficient with input for background listeners. So those are the um, reduced game stutter with high report rate mass. Those are the improvements Microsoft says that they have brought with the Moment 3 update. And um, if you do want to stick around, and um, I have mentioned some of these in a previous video, which as mentioned, I'll leave all videos down below. But some, some other performance highlights and increase performance increases that Moment 3 has brought, according to Microsoft, is they have improved um, the taskbar the performance of the taskbar and the notifications and also the uh, quick settings in Windows 11 version 22H2 after installing the Moment 3 update. And they've improved the performance uh, in those key areas of the Windows shell 
and by as much as 15%, according to Microsoft. And something else Microsoft has mentioned is they have improved the time it takes to get to um, the desktop by 10%, and they have reduced the impact of startup apps by over 50%. So basically, um, your um, boot-up times are a lot faster, and by up to 50%, um, there's a 50% um, in some certain circumstances increase in performance when it comes to booting up and starting up your PC, according to Microsoft. And then they also say that if you are using Edge, um, it starts up faster than ever before and saves memory with features like sleeping tabs, which saves up to 83% of memory for background tabs, which is part of the efficiency mode settings in Edge. And then if you are using Microsoft Teams, um, the Teams app now for Windows is twice as fast while using half the resources. And that's just a couple of the um, so-called key highlights that Microsoft say they have increased when it comes to the performance um, of Windows 11 22H2. And that's with the most recent um, update, KB5026446. And as mentioned, that brought along, if you did have that um, controlled rollout setting turned on, uh, it included the... Um, Windows configuration update, which brought those um, new features, as mentioned, to Windows 11 22H2. If you had this setting turned on, get the latest updates as soon as they're available. So that's just a quick overview as to some of the performance improvements that Microsoft says they did bring with the Moment 3 feature update, if you would be interested. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.